Hey loves, it's Pink Vintage here and today I am going to do a switching video for you guys. I just got back from Tybee Island in Savannah so I have a more tan tan than my natural tan so it was kind of hard getting my makeup together this morning because I was like I am tanned and I love it but anywho, I just wanted to say that before I jumped into this video and I'm still out of town so basically um I did a little shopping and I went to some of the outlet stores in Savannah and if you have not gone when you visited the Savannah area visited visited the Savannah area um, please be sure to check out the outlets you do yourself a huge favor there is no Dooney outlet unfortunately but if there's Case Bay, Michael Kors and Coach and the other heavy hitters so um, and there are two sets of outlets in the Savannah area and I've been coming to Savannah for years and did not know about the outlets I've only gone to the retail stores which are down on Broughton Street on the strip so just here today to do a switching video and again feeling really refreshed having having gotten some um, some tanning in from the beach yesterday so I hope you ladies enjoyed your Memorial Day weekend as well um, pretty much let me start with like I said I did some shopping but before um, we went on vacation my baby which was it was so thoughtful and so cute how it was done I'm driving and I'm like hmm 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 and then the next thing I know, pull over, pull over. And I'm like, okay, so I just pull over. I didn't ask any questions. And that was one of those times where I didn't when I'm usually more rebellious and more like inquisitive. So I pulled over and I was handed this bag and it had a bracelet. And this is the company. This is the box that they give you. And they give you the little information on it. And I love dragonflies and butterflies. And typically, I have dragonflies like following me around and coming into my car, trailing my car, and stuff like that in the summertime. And I have a butterfly tattoo. So that's like my little, um, I guess, like my little symbol from nature is a dragonfly or butterfly. And especially when I'm like praying and I'm like, God, show me a sign about something. For some strange reason, I'll get a butterfly or a dragonfly to kind of like cross my path at that exact moment. If I'm trying to figure something out, if I'm trying to see if I'm on the right path. And it may seem corny to some, but that is definitely true for me. But I am more a, of a nature girl, a tree hugger, some people call me. But I don't care. Even if I wasn't, it works all the time for me so um i was given my little alex and annie bracelet and i think it's so cute i've wanted an alley alex and annie um for quite some time and i'm just trying to adjust and get the best lighting i think that might be it okay so anyways um so you guys know that i did switch from my beautiful chevron dooney set um satchel into this grandma c tote which i said when i first got it that it kind of reminded me of a fendi bag I did take the little um, luggage tag off because that was one of the features of the bag that I personally didn't prefer. It has that one handle and it has the two openings that have the turn lock key, just um, turn lock clasp, sorry, just like the Fendi bag does. And the only difference is on the side right here, it has the turn lock clasp as well versus the Fendi bag that has more of like a weird push button kind of a thing going on. But I've been wearing this since I switched into it a few days ago when I did the video and okay and that's what it looks like <clears throat> open it is a huge inspiration of the Fendi rep um, the Fendi Fendi peekaboo not a replica but an inspired bag okay and I'm going to try to make this quick because I know sometimes switching videos can be very drawn out but I am going to switch into this bag and the bag again came from the Savannah outlet. It was the Tanger outlet and it's in Pooler. So it's not in Savannah. It's in the town right outside of Savannah, which is where we stay. Um, and it's very beautiful in Pooler. It's like a, um, a small town, but everything there is brand new and very um, progressive. You can tell it's a very progressive community. And this is the bag and it's all beat up because I've used it you know how when you're traveling you kind of try to condense stuff so I put a lot of other stuff in this bag but it came from the coach outlet 
and I do have the receipt, so I will share that with you, ladies. And here is the bag. No further ado. What to do about this bag? It is the Coach Christy Carryout. And the original tag has $450. Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Okay, there you go. $450 to see that's the price. And I'm going to go ahead and pop this tag right now because this bag is mine to keep. So that's the tag. And I'm just going to stick it in the back pocket right along with the receipt and the care card. So it's in here. And I'll get into the bags and the specs in just a moment. So this is the coach care card that they always give whenever you purchase something from them. And this is the receipts. And I don't think, yeah, it does. It has some information on there. But as you can see, it was priced at $450, but the outlet price is $399. And then the discount, blah, blah, blah. And then I did get a bottle of Coach Leather Cleaner for $4. Pardon my hands. I just finished cleaning up. So they're kind of powdery looking. <laughs> but so, uh, yeah. The um, the total price ended up being $175. And that was for the bag and for the actual Coach Leather Cleaner that I purchased. Okay. So, basically, those are the things that I'm going to put in that back pocket until I get home, and then I can take it out and put it in my little box where I keep all of the other stuff like that. Beautiful bag. Now, again, Coach did that bag that I just showed you guys, which is the Gramercy Satchel, and they did that, and they gave it that Fendi peekaboo look. So, this particular bag, which, again, is the Chrissy Carryall, is giving me that Prada look. That um, the Prada bag that is the Safiano leather tote. This one is not. This one is the cross grain leather. But it's a Safiano leather. Um, is it the du jour or something? But it has two, two zippers um, compartments. Just like this. And it's about this height. About this width. Has the... Um, I guess you can say the gusset on the side because it's kind of sewn, so it doesn't snap. And it definitely gives me that bag. So whoever the new designers are at Coach, they're definitely giving us high-end looks, you know, for their price point, which is still kind of high-end for some people. But um, I guess they're keeping up with more of the Michael Kors and the Kate Spade um, fashionistas because if you look at Michael Kors, You'll see Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton. If you look at Michael Kors, you'll see Fendi, you'll see Givenchy, you'll see Prada. Um, so some people have issues with replica bags. Some people have issues with inspired bags, but that's what all the designers are doing. They're making their money, and they're all, it seems, using the same, um, like, I don't want to say stylist, but I guess manufacturer, like they're all coming from the same place. They all have the same way to care for the leathers. They all have the same looks. They may have different colors or different hues of the colors. Like when we, before we got this bag and me and my baby got it together, we went half on it, you know. But anywho, before we got this bag, we went in Michael Kors store and they had a bag that in the Michael Kors outlet is not the sudden, but it it's, it's made like the sudden. The only difference is this front pocket zips and this back pocket snaps, which is kind of a cross between the case spade loading and the Michael Kors sudden. And it's sad that I know these bags and I've owned these bags, but um, that one I forgot the name of it in the outlet. I don't think I even looked at it, but it was in the color Blossom. Now, the color Blossom in Michael Kors bags is almost the same color as that ballet pink in Michael Kors, but in Kate Spade, it's called ballet. It's like, you know, they have the same colors, the same everything, and they're just calling it different names, and it's literally the same stuff, you guys. So that's why when I first started doing YouTube, I was a Kate Spade girl, and I was a Kate Spade girl to the point where my friends called me Kate because I went Kate crazy for like, three a good three or four years chunk of my life that's all I bought 
So then I started doing my course and I became, you know, kind of a variation of both of those two designers. Then I liked Louis Vuitton, but only at the price point of having a pre-owned bag. So from there, I just realized that it's not about being loyal to any brand. It's about getting what you as the customer like, regardless of who's selling it. You need to look for price points and all those good things. Because other than that, it's kind of sort of the same stuff. I will say Dooney and Burke is the one designer to me that kind of varies and branches off. And Dooney does its own thing. Leather, hands down. Is one of the greatest even in comparison to coach leather because Dooney and Burke leather is so supple and smells so good I've had coach over the years like in high school and stuff like that and in college and stuff and they last long but Dooney and Burke to me when you buy a Dooney and that structure and that smell is just hands down one of my faves as far as leathers are concerned stylistically I feel like Dooney and Burke has its own class so I wouldn't even want to compare it to those brands that I just mentioned but the coach bags that I'm switching from and to because you guys see how I get carried away <laughs> again are the coach Gramercy satchel and the coach Christy carry out so what I'm gonna do to make this kind of where you can see more of the bag than me is I'm gonna keep this one on my lap as I switch into this one which is gonna be right here on the screen so, um, basically, as I'm switching, I'm going to be talking. Like I said, you guys, I went into the um, Michael Kors store first. And it was so funny because the sales associate was really flirty with my boo. And I was sitting here looking like, okay, really? You're just going to do all of this in front of me? And I'm thinking to myself, okay, let me see how this plays out. So, basically... It wasn't even me that said anything. It was my good old trusty baby. And so I thought that was really cute when you got somebody who's like, let me shut this down real quick. And then too, I was like, okay, at what point do you realize that you, as a flirty sales associate, are going above and beyond to get this sale? So... I thought that was really funny. So um, even though I was kind of gung-ho on the Michael Kors bag, this one was the same price. And it was my trusty, faithful baby that was like, come on, let's go. Let's go across the hall to coach. I don't like this. I don't like this, you know, how she's flirting. So I thought that was kind of funny. And, you know, I was like, girl, don't, don't make me come down here in Savannah and have to act out with you but I just kind of laughed it off and I just kept shopping because I was like I'm here to have a good time and you know I was in a really good mood so I guess it, it was just one of those things but I thought that was funny and I was like <clears throat> you know how far do you go for a sale that you already have and I just have stuff in here because you know how it is when you're traveling and you just have stuff everywhere. So some of the stuff I'm not even going to put in here. Pretty much almost switched. There were so many compartments in this particular bag, though, that I, um, okay, that I had to kind of figure out, like, where do I want to put it in here? Because although this has, you know what? Okay, so this one is empty now. This is what it looks like. On the inside, it had that back zipper in the front section. And in the back section, it doesn't have any zippers, but it has a really nice compartment. And that's what it looks like. So I wish I could like hang it somewhere so you guys could keep it in view. So I'll just see it right there. And that means I'll have to turn a little bit. Okay. But um, but anywho. So, yeah, she was super flirty, and I just thought it was really funny because I was like, how far are you going for this sale that you already have that you're really talking yourself out of? But that was the experience. So, anyway, back to the bag. I packed it, and I realized that I have two complete pockets that I don't have anything in. So... This one is going to be kind of weird. I think I'm going to look at some videos and see how 
um, other people pack their bags like this. But pretty much one of the things I do know that I want to do is put my um, my key holder in the front zipper. And so far I have my phone here, a little lotion right there. I have all this other stuff um, down in the front. I guess I can move the papers and receipts and stuff to the back pocket that zips since I already have the receipts to the bag itself back there. So that is going to go back there. My iPad, I'll put in that back zipper. And that's pretty much my agenda. And the card, business card holder is in here. It's almost like I have too much space now, which is funny. And I'm going to put my little phone charger, charger, portable charger in that back pocket as well. So that's kind of like where the electronics will be. And yeah, let's see. And in the front pocket, well, the front inside pocket, I just have my wallet, which is this one. And then I have my Dooney and Burke bracelet, which I'm using as a, like, a little makeup case, I guess you can say. And I do have a roller ball in here now. So, this is pretty much what's in this pocket. These two things. And then I have my, my coin case and my little Vera Bradley mirror in here. So, I guess I can put those two, um... I'll put those two in this back section along with my agenda and my card holder. So it's kind of weird having all of these pockets, but they come in handy and I love a big bag and I need a lot of space for all the stuff that I carry because this is all I have in here now. But of course, as time goes on, it's going to be fuller and fuller and fuller. And because this is a true summer bag i'm gonna try to stick around and um use this for a while and see how it goes because i definitely um have that habit of switching so fast that i don't even get a chance to fully fall in love with the bag and truly 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 see what it's like so i think i want to slow down and do like maybe one bag a month that i truly carry and when i'm you know thrifting and shopping um, and I'm finding bags, I will do reviews on them, but I'm not necessarily going to switch, if that makes any sense. So, this is the Christy, and I love it. One of the things I love about this bag is the straps are very long. So, even if you don't carry the crossbody strap, you can still carry the shoulder straps truly on your shoulders and not just have to carry them in your hands or on your wrists or the crook of your arm you can carry these straps over your shoulder that's one of the pluses I love chains if you see some of my other videos if it's a bag that has chains and straps I love it so this is kind of like how Michael Kors does the chains and the straps on the Cindy bags and some of the other bags that I've done videos on um, which gives you again that higher end designer look and it does have that little coach doll tag right here um and i think i will be keeping this one on because to me this one looks really really nice and um the purse tassel that i purchased if anyone was interested was only 14 bucks at tj maxx and it is italian leather um smells really good and that's all i have guys you will see me probably do an updated review on this. This bag doesn't have any feet on it. And that was one of the things that I was kind of like, hmm, do I really want to buy a bag that's this expensive um, that doesn't have feet on it because I don't want it to get dirty. So that's why I bought the purse cleaner. Now, after we got the purse cleaner and everything, the sales associate told us that it wasn't for this particular bag because it'll make it more of a slick slimy kind of texture which i don't want so i'm gonna have to clean it um on my own not with the cleaner that i bought which is kind of ironic 
But anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I really did not want to switch out of the Gramercy because it's one of my favorite bags in my entire handbag collection. Even more so than this. But this one is pink. So, of course, this is my new love. Um, so, yeah. I'll see how I like this. This one is really giving me life because it's a loud, bright, beautiful pink. And I love that. But, of course, you guys know how I felt about this one when I got it. So, we will see. But I have two really new bags. Two really great um, items to play with. And so, that's what I plan on doing. So, I hope you guys had a great time watching me um, rant and rave over my bags in this video. And I hope this review was helpful um, for someone that's looking. Thanks so much, guys, for watching. As always, peace and namaste.